Well, uh, this next one's about the shooting of Dan McGrew. A bunch of the boys were hooping it up in the Malamute Saloon. The kid that handles the music box was hitting the jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo game set dangerous Dan McGrew. And watching his luck was his lady, the lady that's known as Lou. Went out of the night, which was 50 below, and into the din and the glare, there stumbled a miner fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave and scarcely the strength of a louse. Yet he tilted a poke of dust on the bar and he called for drinks for the house. None could place the stranger's face, so we searched ourselves for a clue. So we drank his health and the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he and he looked to me like a man who'd lived in hell. With a face most hair and a dreary stare of the dog his day is done. As he watered the green stuff in his glass, the drops fell one by one. Then I got to figuring who he was and wondering what he'd do. And I turned my head and there watching him was a lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering around the room, and he seemed in a kind of a daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. Now the ragtime kid was having a drink, and there was no one else on the stool, so the stranger stumbled across the room and flopped down there like a fool. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat by some his way. And he pinched those keys with his talon hands, but my, that man could play. Have you ever been out in the great alone when the moon was awful clear and the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you most could hear with only the sound of a timber wolf and you camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world clean mad for the muck called gold while high overhead, green, yellow, and red, the northern lights swept in bars and you've a hunch what the music meant. Hunger, night, stars. A hunger, not of the belly kind, that's banished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for a home and all that it means. Four walls and a roof above, but oh so camp full of, cram full of cozy joy and crowned with a woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world and true as heaven is true. God, oh, how ghastly she looks through her roof, that lady that's known as Lou. Then on a sudden the music changed so soft you scarce could hear. But you felt that your life had been looted clean of all of it held, once held dear. That someone had stolen the woman you loved, and her love was the devil's lie. Your guts were gone, and the best for you was to crawl away and die. Twas a crowning cry of a heart's despair that thrilled you through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread, monsieur, said Danger. The music almost died away, then it burst like a pen of blood. It seemed to say, repay and repay. My eyes were blind with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong that stung like a frozen life. The lust awoke to kill, to kill, and the music stopped with a crash. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat and I saw him sway. Then his lips went in with kind of a grin, and he spoke and his words were calm. Now boys, you don't know me and none of you give a damn. But I want to state my words are straight and I'll bet my poke they're true. One of you here is a hound of hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. <clears throat> I ducked my head and the lights went out. Two guns blazed in the dark. <clears throat> the woman screamed and the lights went up. Two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head, pumped full of lead, lay dangerous Dan McGrew. While a man from the creek lay clutched to the breast, the lady known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and I'm not denying it so. I'm not so wise as these lawyer guys, but strictly between us two, the woman that kissed him and pinched his poke was a lady that's known as Lou.